Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In our previous session, we explored the foundation rules and an overview of this course, Introduction to Communication System 8022305. That was Unit 1, where we laid the groundwork for rules regulation, syllabus, mass distribution, and course objectives. Now, as we move into Unit 2, we will discuss and start an exciting journey into the world of communication systems. This unit will serve as the foundation for understanding how communication networks work from basic concept to the mechanism that allow information to be transmitted efficiently as well as accurately. We will start by diving into the basic background of communication system as our first chapter. How they evolved, their component, and their critical role in our interconnected world. This background will set the stage for more complex topics that we will cover as we progress through the unit. By the end of this unit, you will gain a clear understanding of communication system and their significance in various fields of technology and life. Stay engaged, ask questions, and let's make this learning process both interactive and insightful. First question arises in your mind, what is the communication system? Basically, communication is the process of exchanging information, ideas, or message between individuals or system. In the context of technology, a communication system is an assembly of electronic equipment designed specifically to facilitate this exchange. These systems ensure that the information, either voice, data, or video, is transmitted efficiently and accurately from one point to the another point. They are the backbone of modern communication systems, enabling everything from phone calls to the internet service and ensuring seamless interaction in our digital world. Now we discuss about simple communication system. A simple communication system consists of three key elements, a transmitter, a channel, and a receiver. The transmitter is where the message starts, convert the information into a signal for transmission. The channel is the medium with such as air, wire, or optical fiber that carries the signal to its destination. Finally, the receiver takes the signal from the channel and convert it back into the original message for the intended user. This process ensures the efficient transfer of information from one point to the another point. Let's dive deeper into the key component of a simple communication system and understand how they work together to transfer information. These components are source of information, transmitter, transmission medium or channel, receiver, and destination. From the foundation of any communication process, from simple voice call to complex internet network, we, follow, we will follow such type of communication system. Let's start with the source of information the source of information is where everything began. It generates the original signal, original message, or information that need to be shared. This can be a person speaking, data from a computer, or even a live video stream, or data from the sensors. Next, come to the transmitter. The transmitter job is to take the right information from the source 
and convert it into a signal that can be a transmitted. For example, in a phone call, your voice, basically a message, is converted into an electrical signal. In wireless communication, transmitter convert the information into a radio wave. This step ensures that the message is in the form, suitable for transmission over a specific medium. The transmission medium or channel is basically the pathway the signal travels through between transmitter and receiver. This medium can be vary depending on the type of communication. For example, it may be a of for radio wave, cable for the electrical signal, or optical fiber fiber for the light signal. It is important to note that the medium can introduce interference or noise, which may be distort the signal. Managing this noise is crucial for ensuring clear communication. After traveling through the medium, the signal reaches the receiver. The receiver's role is the process of the transmitter. It takes the signal and convert back into a form that can be understood. For, inst for instance, a radio receiver turns radio signal into sound, while your phone converts electrical signal to your friend's voice during a call. Finally, the message, message reaches the destination, which is intended recipient of the information. This could be a person listening to a call or computer receiving a data or even television display a broadcast. When all these components work together seamlessly, they enable reliable and effective communication. However, each stage has its challenges. A transmitter must encode the message accurately the channel must minimize the noise and interference, and the receiver must decode the signal correctly to deliver the intended message. In essence, this entire process from source to destination is what makes our modern connected communication, from sending a simple text to a streaming like video around the globe. By understanding these components, we can appreciate the complexity and efficiency of communication system. I would like to explain these essential components of communication system, such as source, transmitter, channel, receiver, and destination, and explore how they operate in different types of communication technologies, such as line telephony and telegraphy, radio broadcasting, mobile communication, computer communication systems, satellite communication, and point-to-point -point communication. Let's start with line telephony and telegraphy. Some of the earliest forms of communication is in line telephony and telegraphy. Here the source is a speaker voice or message to be transmitted. The transmitter converts the voice or text into electrical signal. These electrical signals are either current or voltage, and channel is used to typically a wire connected, which allows to pass this electrical signal. And these channels, the wires, are just like a copper or fiber optic cable that carries the electrical signal to the receiving end. The receiver then converts the electrical signal back into sound or some text, delivering this message to the destination, which could be another person or device. Now we consider radio broadcasting. In this system, the source is original contents such as music, news, or live event. The transmitter converts this content 
into electromagnetic waves. These waves are sent through the channel, which in this case is air or atmosphere. A radio receiver picks the transmitted waves, converted them back into sound, and delivered them to the destination, which is the listener for mobile communication, such as calls or messaging. The source is the user voice, text, data, or even video. The transmitter in the mobile phone convert this data, text, audio, video into signals, which are sent to the channel. Then that includes cell towers and air waves. The receiver, either another phone or computer network, decode the signal and deliver the message to the destination, whether it is another user or data server. In computer communication system, such as emails or file sharing, the source is the data created by the device, the transmitter often a modem or network interface card, encode the data into packets. These packets travel through the channel, which can be either Ethernet cable, fiber optics, or wireless network. The receiver at the other end it records the packet and delivers the data to the destination, which could be another computer, server, or some other applications. For satellite communication, the source might, might be a live broadcast or data stream. The transmitter sends the data to a radio signal to a satellite. The satellite acts as an internal channel, intermediary channel, transmitting to the signal back to the Earth, where the receiver, like a satellite dish, pick up and send it to the destination such as TV or internet device. Lastly, point-to-point -point communication often used in dedicated link between devices or system. The source generates data or voice signal. The transmitter sends the signal through the channel, such as direct cable or focused microwave link to the specific receiver, ensuring the information reach the intended destination with minimal interfaces. Each of these systems relies on some fundamental component, but adopts them for different applications and technologies. Understanding these principles helps us appreciate the diverse yet interconnected world of communication we live in today.